locker room tour 2023. Check it out. First up right here, we have our entertainment section. As you can see, with the press of a button, those buttons only cost 25 bucks, by the way, but the press of a button can easily turn on all of this entire section. It turns on my TV, turns on my speakers, turns on the backlights. It's really cool to be able to do all that with just a single press of a button. We're gonna actually go a different way. We're gonna just turn around. We're gonna do this side first because we always do this side and then we move that way. We're gonna switch it up and we're gonna go this way. All right, first up, when you're greeted to the room, obviously you have the door, a little, little coat rack with a bunch of uh, my little trees. They've just been there for years. They don't have any smell to them, but uh, we're gonna keep this video genuine and real. So we have a coat rack, good for towels or my gym hoodie. We have our curtain of sound isolation. So it basically blocks out all the sound and it's very, very cool. I really want to go to that section because it's exciting, but we're just gonna move over to the left and jump around. Right here, we have our closet. Uh, it's definitely clean from the top half. The bottom half, I don't really want to show you because it's not that clean and I'm gonna be genuine about it. Yeah, we have just some of our coats, jackets and hoodies and stuff like that. Uh, just random stuff to get ready and other stuff that you don't need to know about. <laughs> but yeah, so that's just a little, little sneak peek of the closet. Just some of the boxes we always love and we always keep boxes to resell them. I'm not gonna be a box order, not like last year. But yeah, we also have motion sensor lights, which I love. Here on the corner of my bedroom, we have a little popcorn machine. I also have a little gizmo from Gremlins. I like pops, you're gonna see a lot of pops in this video, so just a FYI and a warning if you don't like pops. But um, I don't know why that stapler's there, to be honest, we just have it there. Uh, we got the movie night with a little roller, so that's a little curtain. It, it replaces my previous curtain. It has basically no light whatsoever. I also have blackout, like blackout windows, basically, like you know, there's no light whatsoever. And the uh, little to no heat, just because of how hot it got in the summer, I just said, nope, not doing anything. No, no sun, no nothing. I'm a vampire for the whole year. And I just blacked it out. And that's how most of my room is now. It's all black. I'm turning emo and stuff. But no, what I was saying is we have a popcorn machine that I haven't cleaned in a while, but I, I do definitely want to make more popcorn. Future In the future, I definitely have to sanitize it like crazy before I make another batch. But I love making popcorn. I have a bunch of like cool, I guess, cool little flavors and stuff like that. Flavor cool. And it tastes pretty good. Just have some kernels, a 20 pound kernel. Yeah, we got that. And then just junk. I'm not going to show you that. <laughs> but uh, here we have my bed. I have a weighted blanket here. I love this weighted blanket. Sherpa. And it's like a gray. On camera, it looks blue. In person, it looks blue, but it's called gray on the listing. So it's whatever. And then I just have some of my blankets here. A body pillow, which I literally have never used. I don't even know why I bought it. You know, that's that. Uh, right here, we do have our three in one station. So I always use this as like a bedside charging when I put my phone on here because it does have MagSafe. It has MagSafe on the front. I put my AirPods here and my apple watch right there and i just put them all there to rest it does have an led here i don't use led because it's just dumb my favorite and the best selling station on the planet i do have also have like massage stuff on the side of my bed just tried out this eye massager pretty nice actually i'm probably gonna do a review of it now that i think about it but i have an eye massager there as well and just obviously my pillow this is a memory foam pillow it has a silk underneath which sometimes i use right here we do have our review station it's very messy it's usually not this messy this is the uh, massage gun because I do work out and I usually use the uh, massage gun a lot, but that's also usually by my bed just so I can uh, relax my muscles before I go to sleep. Right here on my review station, I usually just have a bunch of tools and stuff like that and review units that I need to review of. I have my camera here. This is the Sony ZV-1 with a wide lens. It also has a macro lens by newer. I'm using the audio equipment and stuff like that on a different gimbal setup. As you can see, it's just it's amazing sound quality. I use the Rode Wireless Go. Car part is my verse camera and uh, my wow stick, power bank, some lighting, a backdrop, two lights. Those are the newer 660 by bi color directional lights. So it's warm and cool white. But yeah, I love those li those lights. Two speakers, some ghost energy drink. I do have backboards that are interchangeable. So I could change the back the backdrop when I do product pictures or videos. I have wrap here. Another light, another floodlight. Got some boxes, just random stuff. Stuff I need to ship and stuff that needs to be just repaired or anything like that. Right here, we have a bag full of uh, testing stuff and my uh, shipping wear, I guess you could say. Yeah, just a bunch of stuff to help test for certain product videos, like, you know, wind speed, decibel meter, stuff like that. We also do have our mini fridge if we could get to it. 
It's a bit messy right now, but I apologize. So yeah, we have our just like drinks. We're running low, but we got some drinks there. And a calendar, I forgot I had that. Oh, we do have this 10 foot cable for our iPhone. So it'll focus. So yeah, we do have this 10 foot cable for our iPhone. We usually put that like right by our bed because I don't really use that until I'm gonna sleep. I use this until I'm ready to sleep. And then, uh, yeah. Uh, so yeah, that's the little station right here. Now we're gonna go to the entertainment. So back to this side of the room, we have a soundproof little panel. I was gonna do a video on how to make these and I was gonna make like 10 of them. I only made one and then I stopped and that was like two years ago. We do have one of our weighted dumbbells. They're adjustable up to 52.5 pounds. We're, we're getting there. We're not at 40. If I'm gonna be real with you, we're not at 40. We'll just leave it at that. We're close to it though. Um, yeah, but yeah, we're, we're starting to work out again because I have stopped for six months or something like that. And I'm, I was getting two weeks. So yeah, we got that. Our new dresser, not dresser, sorry. my Our new cubicle, it was a dresser, but now we changed it out. If you haven't seen that video, I really need some love and support on that video for sure. Uh, I usually have my lights right here. It has a little electrical tape because it kept turning off because of the battery. But you know, you just turn on and off the LEDs. Um, it's very bright and very nice. It actually looks really good off as well. Like look at this, my room looks clean when it's off with those floodlights, those floodlights make it pop. Anyways, back to the video. We have these two speakers we haven't done a review of, but they're brand new speakers that just came out like I want to say a month ago. These are the Bump Box Titans, I believe, or Space Cadets. I'm pretty sure they're Space Cadets or Titan Links, but they're the black model. Beautiful speakers. They sound amazing. Clean bass. Very, very, very loud speakers. They come with the bass or you can use the little Spaceman with the gun. I was going to use the Spaceman with the gun, but it does not. It's taller than the actual. It's just too tall, so I can't use it. We do have this on a Y splitter because you can connect up to two wired or wirelessly and we have two of them. Uh, they sound super good, but they're $200 each. So we'll do a review of that. Back to your uh, AirPod Pro's second gen. MagSafe 660 Anchor Power Bank. I use this when I'm on the go or filming and stuff like that. PS5 Digital. Only used it like three times and I bought it last month. Uh, our little controller there as well. Very good controller, modded it out and stuff like that. Modded out the PS5 as well with some LEDs and stuff like that. Uh, that's the controller for it. We also do have our Fire TV Stick Max. We did a review of this, very good. And I use that for travel as well. We have our little, one of our little Funko Pops as well as our plant. Our sister gave us this plant, so it looks pretty cool. I guess it livens up the place a little bit. Uh, some playing cards. We have our hydrometer or thermometer to measure the room temperature we have our little uh, millennium falcon 3d art <laughs> some tylenol i didn't even realize i had that there because i get like headaches a uh, fair amount of time so i just use that we have our xbox series x in the back of our tv yeah that's right we have both consoles no i'm playing <laughs> no but we have both consoles here as you can see it has the led on right now um, but it's a very great console i love this console i prefer i prefer it still over the ps5 mainly because it's just better in my opinion uh it's companion it's completely opinion based but it's just a nice console to actually have and own just an amazing console into the actual cubicle sections here, we do have Wi-Fi 6E mesh router, Deco 6E. This is the XE75 Pro. Basically 6E Wi-Fi mesh system. It's able to handle up to 6E Wi-Fi. It's coming up in the future. It's basically right here. They're working on Wi-Fi 7 now, which is crazy, but uh, that's able to handle basically a lot of stuff like the new MacBook Pro M2 models for the MacBook Pros, stuff like that. So that's future proof, which is amazing. We do have this container, which I'm not gonna show you. It's kind of like a drunk drawer. We do have this container here, which on the bottom of this container, just a bunch of candles. So you know our room be smelling good, you already know. Uh, just a bunch of candles. My sister got me hooked on them. So <laughs> thanks for getting me hooked on uh, candles. We have Sherlock Deadpool and Ballerina. Deadpool. My cousin gave me both of these, so I obviously had to keep them displayed because that's actually pretty clean. Gotta, gotta love Deadpool. Can't wait for that Deadpool 3. Only a few more years. <laughs> All right, we got our little Star Wars section. This is kind of like personality. I do love Marvel, so and one of my favorite shows out of the bunch were the Loki movie. Uh, this one, Deadpool, obviously who doesn't love Deadpool? And then my cousin gave it to me. And then this one, obviously I love Star Wars, so I have a little Star Wars section. Got Chewbacca. Uh, Mandalorian and uh, I don't even know what this one is but got that one as well right here we do have just random honestly just random Funko Pops got a Rubik's Cube 
We have uh, Dwight. This was actually one of my first Funko Pops. And it broke on the side, so I taped it. I frill taped it just so it, the glasses won't fall off and stuff like that. This drawer, I don't know what's in it. Oh, this is a cleaning stuff. So we have a bunch of cleaning stuff, mainly. We got screen clean. Oh, shoot. We got Myers Clean. This is a um, multi-surface cleaner, screen cleaner. I didn't use this as much, but I need to use it a lot more. I didn't even wipe down my screen, but yeah, we got this trash bags, stuff like that. I need to replace my trash. If I'm gonna be real with you, I only cleaned most of the surface so it looks good for the camera, but most of my room isn't actually cleaned. Here we have, I usually this, I put my snacks in here, like snack drawer and gaming stuff. So I have like my controllers, my extra mouse, extra HDMI cable, some snacks. Stuff like that, but I ran out of snacks, so that's where we're at right now. Right here, we're gonna go to my gaming section now. You see this? Boom. So cable management could be better. It looks worse now that I see it from this angle and <laughs> we're, okay. So from here, we got our Manscaped bag. We got our extra keyboard, almost two years with this. We're gonna have that review out soon. Uh, just some of our water bottles and some other sneaker sprays. We got our candle here that we lit in the beginning of the video. Fiji White Sands, I actually like the scent of it. It smells good, it looks good on camera and everything else like that. We got our controller and our Symbol Monkey. This is a custom controller that we made. Uh, actually, one of the left little analog sticks broke. Like, it actually broke. That's the first time I've ever had an analog stick break on me. But it broke, so we went ahead and replaced it with one of our old replacement uh, Xbox controllers. But yeah, this is a custom LED mod. There we go, we got a custom LED mod, so we have multiple colors. And then we also have trigger stops, and that's why I like to keep this controller specifically is because of the con uh, controller stops. I don't really care as much as the LEDs. I don't really turn them on if I'm going to be real with you, but I do love that uh, trigger stops. It's like actual hair triggers. We do have our coaster here. We usually throw our drinks on there just like that. This is actually our controller for the TV. It's a Roku TV, but I use a Fire TV stick on it and I, I dropped it in milk on accident. Uh, right here we have our our little, our little view. So this is basically what you get to see. This is the point of view. I usually have the bottom monitor as my gaming one and the top one as my work one. So I'm a little bit raised up. You know, sometimes I just adjust the chair so I can have eye level uh, to the bottom monitor since the monitor is very low and I don't want to look down. Or I raise the chair all the way up so I can have a little bit more comfortable. We do have this lighter here, this electric lighter. I finally got it because I didn't want to keep getting more, you know, fuel into the other, into the other one. We do have our whatnot pager from bump box right there. Oh, I left it on. Uh, we do have our glasses here where we Parker glasses. I don't really wear them as much. We have our slice knife, ceramic blade. Love this knife. You can't get cut on it, but it's super, super sharp and it lasts way longer than normal knives. Our Rocat Vulcan TKL Pro. Uh, this keyboard is amazing, especially this knob for volume control and mute. Amazing for our Mac mini right here. As you can see, I'm gonna go ahead and sign in real quick. Boom. All right, so that's what that looks like. That's our desktop view. I hit all the icons, but you can see the top two programs that I use, by the way, are DaVinci Resolve and Final Cut Pro. I'm, I'm gonna start using Final Cut Pro a lot more now, but DaVinci Resolve and Final Cut Pro are the main two that I use on this channel. So if you wanted any, any, uh idea of what I used to edit. And then yeah, so this this looks good. I have a mouse pad here to complement it and that volume control. Whenever I do editing, it's really, really helpful to be able to mute or unmute control volume very, very quickly. Also have the Rokat Cone XP, very great mouse wired, but it is very, very, very responsive, very fast. You never have to charge it. And then I always have my phone stand with me. So I always put my uh, phone stand somewhere right here in the middle, put my phone right there, have it for information, music or anything anything standby. In my opinion, I love this thing. Or you could FaceTime people and have it propped up. Amazing must have, I'm, I highly recommend it. Uh, I have my Xbox batteries right here, some of them because I found more, but I do have some on the bottom of my desk. As you can see, that's our, that are always charging and I just have those ready. So yeah, for my Mac, I do have a few things. So I have this USB hub right here on the bottom and I also have an SD card reader right here. I don't have an SD in there, but it does have, I think six or eight USB ports. I have like my thermal printer, my monitor light bar and stuff like that plugged into it. I don't live stream all the time, but we do have a live stream like set up here. We just put this ring light, but normally we do have that uh, webcam propped up right there. And then we just decided to use a ring light. This is one of my old ring lights. So that's what that is. 
We do have a little calendar right here as well as from the office. Like you see in the beginning, you just kind of rip it off just like that since now it's midnight and uh, it does have like questionnaires and stuff like that in the back. Pretty cool. Uh, some shipping stuff. So Sharpie, scissors, tags, writing down stuff. This is our thermal printer. It's turned off right now because we're not shipping anything. We have a light bar in the back. I don't know if you can see that, that little pole right there. Yeah, that's a light bar. We do have a microphone here. So if you're wondering what microphones I use for voiceovers, we use the DM30. It is not plugged in there. Now it looks beautiful. So that's what that looks like. It does have multiple colors you can change. Uh, it has a removable pop filter and stuff like that. This is the Fifine Ample Game 2.0 is what I like to call it, but it's the A6, I believe. Very amazing microphone and I have it propped up on a boom arm. I believe the boom arm is Beatrum. Beatrum. It's like that brand. I'll leave a link in the description for basically everything you see here in my setup. Everything you see in my room, everything will be linked in the description down below under links.co forward slash tech reviews TV. And you can see everything basically with pictures and everything like that and what I recommend and why I recommend it. The best of the best are all here. So yeah, we got that. We do have a What's it called? A battery backup system here. So in case there is a power outage or anything else like that, our essentials will be powered and saved from the uh, power outage basically. And I have it hooked up to my Mac, which is hooked up to my um, USB hub and everything that is connected to the USB hub. So if the power went out, all my stuff will be safe from the power outage for a while until I could properly save it and turn it off. And then uh, yeah, that's what that's for. Really, really cool. Right here, we do have our return of the Mac vinyl record player whatever you want to say or record i haven't propped it up yet but we stopped to mount it on the wall in the middle of our room so like we have our neon sign custom neon sign in the middle of that we do have our uh, heater space heater since it's really cold in the winter and then we have our lazy susan it's just propped up here but you we use this lazy susan for like product reviews and stuff like that um underneath it we just have random stuff for videos cable management and other stuff boxes like i said so we're back up to the room now we're gonna go to the bed real quick um so we just got some j our self-cut system so if you haven't seen that video we do cut our own hair with the three-in-one station and i'll show you my clippers and guards and everything else like that so we have our scissors our clipper we have a babyless fx pro and a babyless trimmer as well black colorway I shouldn't have got the black though because it does have scuff marks from the other one banging around in it uh, or I just need to get a better place to store all this but we have a bunch of other stuff like a fade comb and a shaver uh, we have a just a bunch of stuff I love cutting my own hair personally because I get to do whatever I want with it and if I mess up it's on me not them and uh, it's just cheaper that way in my opinion you save more money uh, we do have our bump box here I don't use it as much but I love bump box as a company and just as a whole they make really good stuff I already have these speakers I don't love these speakers as well but you know they sell pagers and all that you can have custom ones they're the only speaker that on the planet that look way more unique than any anything else like jbl or sony i think i i think i pretty much summed it up uh if you guys want to check anything out like i said link is in the description down below want an update on anything or review on anything let me know i do a lot of tech if you are guys if you guys are new around here and made it this far uh comment down below what's one thing you want to buy this year that that's like your goal for it like if you want a new pc or a new laptop or a new camera new phone what's your number one thing that you really want this year that you want to try to get let me know in the comments down below for me it's a new macbook we're gonna try to uh, save up for that new m2 pro max or maybe it's a car Maybe you want a new car. Who knows? Uh, let me know in the comments down below and I'll see you guys in the next one. And uh, we out.